If you've been using Virtual DJ for a while, you may already know that it comes with a library of free samples aka sound effects that you can download from the settings area under plugins. And while these sound effects are free and easy to download, Virtual DJ allows you to add your own custom or downloaded sound effects, and it's actually pretty easy. Damn, son, where'd you find this? To start with, download your sound effects to your computer. If you don't know where to find DJ sound effects, we already gave you 20 awesome samples with download links in a previous video which you can find in the description or by clicking on this link right here. But for even more options, royalty-free websites like freesound.org are pretty handy. That's where you'll find all sorts of awesome sound effects to add your own signature touch. Flawless. Victory. Game. Over. After downloading your sound effects, from the navigation bar on your left, open the folder with your downloaded samples. Now, on the right side, click the Sampler tab. See that bar with the sampler name? Click it and choose New Folder to organize your effects. And here's a pro tip. Creating folders like sirens, air horns, or drops keeps your sound effects library squeaky clean and easy to find during a live mix. After creating your sampler folders, drag and drop those downloaded sound effects from your navigation bar into your new folder within the sampler. Since these effects are custom added, some of them might need a little fine tuning, like adjusting the volume or BPM. So, to edit your sound effects, right click on a sample and choose Sample Editor. Here you can adjust the effect's volume. Set the effect to either loop when activated or one-shot trigger aka drop. Damn son, where'd you find this? And what's more is that you can set the effect to sync with the current playing song or even permanently change the sample's BPM among other things. Now that our sound effects are edited and ready to go, how do we activate them? Well, Virtual DJ gives you options, the straightforward one being clicking on a sample pad to trigger that specific sound effect. But if you want to save time during a live set, you can assign each sound effect to a keyboard key. To activate your sound effects using a keyboard, simply go to Settings, then Controller. If you have the default legacy mapping loaded, this mapping comes with pre-assigned keys to activate sound effects, that is the function keys F1 to F12. Pressing F1 activates the sound effect on the first slot, F2 activates the sound effect on the second slot, and so on. If you would like to assign your own keys, go back to the controller tab and pick a key you would like to map a sound effect to, then write the following script. The word sampler, followed by the position of the sound effect. So if the sound effect we want to map is in the first slot, then its position is 1. Hence we will write sampler 1. If it's in the second slot, we will write sampler 2. The last part of the script will be play underscore stop, which means that when you press that key once it will start playing the sound effect, and pressing it again will stop playing it. If you found this information useful, please support the channel by giving us a like and subscribing for more DJ tutorials. Till next time keep practicing.